Ladies and gents, welcome back. Central bank digital currencies or CBDCs have been in the news lately and all over online. Now, what are they and how are they going to lead to us living in a digital dystopian future? And how is this all happening right under our noses as we speak? Well, let's get into this. Canada Proud on Twitter is saying the Central Bank of Canada says they are beginning public consultations into creating a digital Canadian dollar. It's happening as we speak. And hey, <laughs> they're checking with you to see how you feel about it. This is actually a thing. Please spread the word, says Linda on Twitter, saying uh, to get many to tell the Bank of Canada no to CBDCs. This is important that we get as many to let them know we don't want it. Now, I'm just, just going to throw this out there. They're, uh, they're telling us that it's happening. They're not asking really what you want. They don't think so. I think this is going to roll ahead regardless of what you uh, what you say about it. Just like all these other things that are happening in government. Uh, we just had Bill C-11 roll through with nobody wanting it. Uh, and, but they, they just push it through anyhow. Bank of Canada asking public to weigh in on digital currency. So what is this all about? The Bank of Canada, BOC for short, has announced that they are officially considering the introduction of a central bank digital currency and will be taking the public's feedback on the matter for just over a month. This is from an article from True North. Links is always in the description down below. Please go check out the article in its entirety. The Bank of Canada says that the, the lives of the everyday Canadians becomes increasingly digitalized, exploring the introduction of a central bank digital currency is increasingly pertinent. Hey, this is a great thing. Hey, as Canada's central bank, we want to make sure everyone can always take part in our economy as if they didn't already. If you have if you've ever used money in your life, you've you're part of the Canadian economy. That's how it works. Uh, we don't need another dollar. We don't need another different kind of currency. But maybe this comes on the back of other things and maybe another agenda. The central bank digital currency is a digital alternative to banknotes issued by a nation's central bank that is stored in an account either with the central bank itself or as electronic tokens. Now, this is where it gets really important to understand that you'll have a bank account with the Bank of Canada. Currently, nobody has a bank account with the Bank of Canada. You have a bank account with... Uh, you know, Scotia Bank, TD, uh, Canada Trust, all, all whatever bank that you currently deal with. Nobody's using the central bank now. This has happened in the past, and this is where some of the warnings come in. Here's from Lex Friedman's podcast where he's talking about exactly this. This paper they released in January twentieth on the uh, potential central bank digital currency CBDC. Is it at all interesting to you that they're even considering this kind of thing? I used to think that it's um, it's just basically uh, waffle. It's meaningless because as it exists, the dollar is a central bank digital currency. Right. The vast majority That's of dollars percent. are digital. And yeah. um, but I think the way that over the last couple of years I've changed my mind on this. I think this is uh, that there's some serious substance behind these ideas. And what they mean effectively is the disintermediation of the banking system and giving everybody an account at the Federal Reserve. This is this is kind of the really dangerous uh, idea, and I think this is enormously significant. Effectively, as somebody who's lived in the Soviet Union, what this is is the return of the Ghost Bank on a global scale with modern technology. So under the Soviet Union, there was uh, something called the Ghost Bank or the People's Bank, and that was the only bank in the country. And you had an account with the national bank, and you know if you said something wrong, your money got terminated from the Goss Bank. Now imagine that combined with the power of digital technology. <laughs> now imagine that, actually imagine that. Now they're speaking in terms of the uh, Federal Reserve as uh, people who live in America, but this is obviously an issue here in Canada and what we're dealing with right now. The Bank, the bank of Canada says that the cryptocurrencies and central bank digital currencies from other countries became more popular. This risks compromising the role of a centrally issued dollar and could affect the stability of Canada's financial system. In, in a sense, what they're saying is they want to be able to control what's going on. They don't want the economy to decide and they don't want other people to make decisions for themselves. And we're going to get into how, how, how much this can affect your life. 
Canadians can take a survey to voice their opinions on central bank digital currencies until June 19th, 2023, after which the Bank of Canada will share Canada's input with senior decision makers and publish the report. So senior decision makers will consider what you have to say in this uh, opinion uh, poll, but ultimately it's them to decide. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go fill out this poll for yourself. You can go check it out and uh, and <laughs> give your two cents. Put your, uh, put your two cents in there and let your voice be heard, but we'll see how much uh, that actually affects things. We've seen we've seen petitions against Bill C-11, Bill C-18, Bill C-21. And how well has uh, all that stuff been working? I don't know. We'll see. It, only time will tell. Of course, uh, Rick Wolf putting this out there, the meme of uh, Batman and Robin, CBDCs plus digital ID are so convenient. It's a social credit system. That's what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at forward to with this whole concept of uh, central bank digital currencies the 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 way that they can shut it off if they want to they can control what it is that you can purchase with these uh, digital bank currencies and um, <laughs> turn off your account and we've seen that uh, recently in in uh, recent times if you say stuff against the government. We will continue to support supply banknotes as long as Canadians want them, says the Bank of Canada in this article from Western Standard. It would simply be another way to pay. Well, <laughs> that that may be the case. Hey, we don't know. Maxime Bernier chiming in saying, the Bank of Canada is doing everything necessary to eventually launch a digital currency, even if they still deny wanting to. And showing this article here, um, uh, he goes on to say in their public consultation, they do mention privacy concerns, but they don't ask a single question about how it would make it easier for them to manipulate monetary policy and control how we spend our money, which has always been the purpose of central banks. Can we trust them after Freeland froze bank accounts during the Freedom Convoy and after they printed hundreds of billions to fund Trudeau's gigantic deficits. No, no, we can't. And I would have to agree with Max on this one. It's too, uh, it's too volatile here. And should we really be trusting the government? I mean, they've shown so much in the past recent years. I mean, they've been showing for a long time, but more people are waking up to the idea that you can't really trust your, your governments, especially when they grow so large in size. Now, Get Woke Up has a great article about this here. CBDCs, what you need to know about the dangers of digital money. And they go on to give a bunch of different instances uh, for this. Again, links in the description down below. Check it out. But the, the one that really gets me the most is this uh, sentiment right here. Hey, if you don't have anything, if you have didn't do anything wrong, then what do you have to worry about? Besides, the government is definitely qualified to protect our digital freedoms. <laughs> oh God! But that's isn't that isn't that actually the case? Isn't that actually the truth here? Uh, this is an excerpt from NBC News from three years ago, talking about China's social credit system and how that's been working out for them. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cover over the audio just slightly because. Well, copyright stuff, and this is this is how you make sure that the music that they're using in it doesn't ding you here and and uh, kill this video for everybody to watch it. So here we go. She's a 752. That's her rating with Sesame Credit, a private company working with the government on the algorithms for the social credit system. The scores go from 350 to 950, and are based on habits and behavior. Buy clothes or diapers. It's good. A lot of alcohol, too many video games, not so good. Not so good. How you 752 puts her in model citizen range and gets her discounts and privileges, like using a shared bike without a deposit. She likes it. Her friends do too. They all have pretty high scores. Is a mechanism like uh, pushes you to become a better citizen to build to build on the trust, especially on the Chinese market. Because because you you are not you are not going to be punished if you haven't done anything wrong. I think that's the point. I think the system is working as a as an as a warning or a alert to 
like to push people to do it, yeah. to, to, to be a good person. Hey, the government's just there to push you to be a good person. Didn't you know that? That's all they have in mind is making sure that you're a good person. And hey, if you haven't done anything wrong, then you won't be punished. That's the whole idea. The The default is punishment, apparently, until you've proven to them that you have done nothing wrong. And here we go with uh, Ryan Garrison chiming in on this. Do you want a digital loony? The Canada, the Bank of Canada wants to know. Do, is, is this something that you want to know? Ryan Garrison saying no. And to say the Bank of Canada actually cares what you think is absolutely hilarious. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you want a digital currency? Do you think giving your input to the Bank of Canada is going to actually affect anything on whether they're going to go ahead with this or not? At the same time, I do encourage people to voice their opinion because if they don't get any dissenting voices, they'll just go through with it anyway. At least show that you have a dissenting voice. But do you think it'll actually make a difference for the decision makers who obviously have... <laughs> not our interests in mind they've proven that time and time again anyway leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next one keep on trucking